going. <laughs> um, thought we'd come and talk to you about a little name idea we had last night. Actually, I had it in the shower and I came out and told Honey about it. And anyway, so I got out of the shower and I had to explain it to him first. <laughs> I said, there is this meme that has been going around the internet for many, many years about Rick Grimes on The Walking Dead. And for those of you who like Walking Dead, you may know, the meme is stuffing things because Rick Grimes has a British accent. And he has a hard time time saying things and anyway I will try to link to the video I, can, I won't be able to do that till I get home but do you want to it's kind of off subject or whatever but do you want to show them the federal prison over here in Canyon City that's uh, a lot of famous uh, idiots so to speak can I do it on our way back because then I'll be on that side of the road sure. to be able to video if I do, then I have to do it through the thing. So, anyway, back to the subject at hand. <laughs> um, so, what do you guys think? Because this would keep our love of The Walking Dead involved with this business. And the thing that Rick will say is stuffing things. He doesn't say stuffing things. He says stuffing things. And so I pr proposed to Honey vintage stuff and things. And he liked it right away. And he's like, sometimes you think of something and it just has to be spur of the moment. It can't be like you've been thinking and thinking and thinking what to, you know, name it. So vintage stuff and things. And then this morning I said, what about stuff and things vintage pickings? Now, I will tell you that 5280 Vintage Pickens and Digging Up Bones Vintage Decor or whatever it was, those two things are tied right now. So, what do you say we throw this one in the mix? Vintage Stuff and Things and see what you guys say about we're going into Canyon City. We already stopped at one little antique store, and it was a... We got some great stuff yesterday, and Honey was like, let's go to Canyon City and go picking tomorrow. So, he is enjoying it, and I'm enjoying it, and off we go. But it says Republican Headquarters, and... <laughs> There's the president. Love it. Venga, venga. Venga? Venga. Old building. It says established 1874. Look how it has that tower up the top. I wonder if you can actually get up there. Probably not. I don't know, it's got windows. Monday through Thursday. <laughs> don't know. Honey used to be a correctional officer um, many, many moons ago. And so this old prison really interests him. This is, it looks like it's still functional. There's cars yeah, and stuff. But there's another prison on the way uh, back to the campground too. This is the old prison. 
That house looks like it would be for the warden, wouldn't it? Yeah. Well, they don't look like they've been keeping it up. He wanted to see if there was a, like a gift shop. Look, prison mm -hmm. museum. Guess we're going in. We're going deep. <laughs> That's what with, I want to do. Without handcuffs. Actually, I'd rather go to the prison museum than the bug museum. So, I guess if I had to pick one, this would be it. He went straight into the woman behind bars, so. This is kind of cool. These were the outfits that they wore. Mm -hmm. Actually, rather stylish. <laughs> this lady was convicted of three counts of first degree murder and sentenced to consecutive life without parole terms for burning their house for insurance money and killing their three children. Oh my God. Oh my god, look at that one. Huh. Confiscated from inmates. It's kind of crazy. I mean, they get, they get so creative in making these shanks. Look at the fork. And this thing. Oh, yeah. oh, how did they get guns? the video if you want to read it. Does it bring back memories? Be in here? Please do not stand on or touch the execution table. All right. I'll try to avoid that. Did they hang people? Mm -hmm. Did they? Walter, a.k.a. Shorty Jones. Women's um, artwork that were in the facility. Some really good artists. This one's really good. Somebody painted a Mona Lisa. That's pretty good. Mm -hmm. It's very echoey in here. That's a beautiful piano. That would make a really nice bar, honey. <laughs> There's the kitchen area. Outside grounds. Fire truck. I'm sorry if you guys aren't interested in this. I just think some people would be. I'm not, but I think some people would be. You can tell it rained a lot last night.
Looks like it was painted with dinner mint. Prehistoric shit going on up here. That is one big dinosaur. His tail's moving. Is his tail moving? Seriously? Yeah. for falling off. Santa train. This bridge is made out of wood. It's crazy. I can't do it. 
It's making me, it's making me sick. I can't do it. In the bedroom. Watching. The Walking Dead. It's like 6.30, we got back, I took a shower, I got a towel on, and I'm gonna watch me, one episode. Then I'm gonna go outside and barbecue. Did you say a bad word on no, video? I said Sun Beach. <laughs> what are you getting? Uh, flash out my glasses. Oh. What are you getting? I'm waiting for you. More fresh. Yes, he just got out of the shower. It is 1020 on, what is this, Friday? Friday night? Never mind. Who knows what day it is when you're on vacation? It doesn't matter. On holiday. On holiday in our caravan. <laughs> you know who it is who whose comment that was, don't you, Kim? <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it, love it, love it. Yeah, we went live earlier and... And nobody came. Two and a half minutes of live. And I was like, that's it. Nobody loves us. <laughs> and I cut it off. It's so quiet out here. Can you guys hear the crickets? We're barbecuing. We had lunch today at the, this awesome place right by the Royal Gorge, and I am so full. What did I have? A BLT. Yeah. How can you be full on a BLT? I, and onion rings. The onion How? rings. How? Onion rings. There's our flag. Alright. See you guys tomorrow. We're going to fix dinner, probably watch some Walking Dead and fall asleep. Probably. <laughs> okay, going to watch Walking Dead. <laughs> it's Saturday. And um, I'm just doing some fussy cutting. And Honey is up. It's 9.15. Told me to wake him up at 9, so I did. And I wanted to show you what I've been up to in the mornings while he's sleeping. So the first day... This is the fussy cutting that I did. It was a lot. And I got all of this done in the morning and um, part of the afternoon. So all of that's ready. I'm not sure yet whether it's going to be a journal or a mini album. So, just gonna put that back in the bag. And then my second day, second morning, I did some of this. I like to do my skin tones and my hair and then usually leave the main coloring for when I decide what paper I'm going to use. But I did do Three Mermaids in pink. mermaids in teal three mermaids in purple I did her her there's honey <laughs> he's half naked so he doesn't want you to see him her and I did I did these two I like how the black one turned out. So that was the coloring I did on my second day. 
And then this morning, I have been cutting out, I should really put these in a baggie too. I think I'll do this. Um, today I've been cutting out Heartfelt Creations and Stamperia. So anyway, um, it's been really nice camping and um, yesterday we went to Canyon City and of course the Royal Gorge Bridge as I showed you already and as you heard, yeah it made me sick. When I was in ninth grade we took a trip to California and the Grand Canyon when I was, you know, uh, a kid and went to the Grand Canyon and I, you know, I went to the edge to look down and I got sick, like vomiting sick. I just figured I had gotten over that by now. I guess not. Um, you know, I used to get car sick and airplane sick when I was a kid also, but I, I got over those two things as an adult, so I didn't think that, you know, it would affect me. But, yeah, I couldn't do it. And Honey's the one that says he's afraid of heights. And I wasn't afraid. I didn't feel afraid. I gotta go. I gotta answer the phone, guys. <laughs> That's funny. <clears throat> okay, we're coming into Manitou Springs. where they have the cliff dwellings in Manitou Springs. Have you ever heard of those? Back in the in the day, people built homes in the side of the cliffs. I guess Indian a certain type of Indian group Most of the little shops here are like gift shops, not, at least that, that's what I remember. Uh-oh, there's a craft store. <laughs> <laughs> place over there called Hell's Kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't sound like the kind of place you'd want to go eat. <laughs> you can get out and walk though if you want to. I don't cool. know. I'm not into all this gift shoppy kind it's of like stuff. Estes.
Yeah. Let's find a place that looks like, well, there's a place called the Royal Tavern. Well, they have teapots in there. Walk around? Challenge. Of course, of a different color. Place to have lunch. Look at this view. It's like, like eating lunch right outside of Brianna's house. <laughs> and Honey is having a Reuben. Mm -hmm. And I'm having fish and chips. Yeah. Oh, all right. We're going this way now. So we went and had lunch. Walked around in Manitou Springs. Super touristy tourist trap. Wow. We split the scene. It's only 101. It says 80 degrees, but it is hotter than 80 degrees, don't you think, honey? Oh, this is even better. check out some campgrounds. Garden of the Gods. And people on bikes just don't even look. Because it's all about them. Kissing camels over there. They're way bigger than Red Rocks, aren't they? Mm -hmm. We have something like this over by our house, like, I don't know, six minutes from our house. Yeah. 
and it's called Red Rocks. And it's like this, but on a slightly smaller scale. I mean, they're still big, but not this big. people climbed all up in there. And then over on this side, we've got that. That furthest mountain back there is Pikes Peak. Isn't that a 14er? It is a 14er. Wow. There it is again, Pike's Peak. This isn't the visitor center to say that. No, I know. Not to sugar it. Amazing. Colorado is amazing.
is just amazing. today we went to one place it was the biggest antique mall ever in the universe so I got this cool I guess it's a pan but it's gonna be a decor piece and was marked down from $38 to 15 and I can just see that hanging on the wall in our staging space now I'm gonna go around we got a couple of glass things I got these Corks, three dollars for all those corks, and some glass things in that bag. Um, hold on, we're gonna go around. We got a nice new rig next door to us, and look at this! Oh my God, that is our dream. That is our dream right there. That's it. That's our goal in life. Okay, so the other day we got this wheel. I don't know if you guys saw that. When do we pay for that? 25, I think, for the wheel. Look at the yoke. And we saw a lot of people making mirrors, putting mirrors in there. But even as just a decor piece um, in a farmhouse type um, I think it's really cool. All right, so this can was five dollars. I don't remember how much this was, but it's silver and it's numbered. And it was like I think it was ten. Look at this cool little sifting thing. Look how cute! Look how cute! That is so cute. I got that for me. It's gonna go in the we got a bunch of silver stuff and the silver was like marked way down and Jamie Ray says that she buys a lot of tarnished silver and sells it look at that that was 10 bucks but it was 50% off so it's 5 bucks there's some more silver pieces in there and then this cute pig alright guys i'm tired my feet hurt i'm going in and we'll chat, chat with you later he's gonna put more stickers on because he is all about the stickers he super loves the stickers so we didn't get one when we went um to long was it longmont we didn't get one because they didn't have any so we're putting him in the order of the places where he went. So South Park was the first place we went. And then we got the Royal Gorge Route Railroad. We got Golden Eagle Campground, which is where we are at. We went to the Royal Gorge yesterday. And we went to Manitou Springs today and Dun, dun 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 Garden of the Gods. <laughs> he loves the stickers.